What's going on guys and girls? It's Ghost Rofo and welcome to a super fun day. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening is now out there and I've got it and I'm gonna bring it to you because even though I don't expect this video to do that well and I don't know that that many people are that excited, it's a brand new Zelda game my friends. Yes, it's a remake of an old title but it's a brand new Zelda on Switch, and I don't feel like it's getting the attention it deserves. So I wanted to bring it some love. This will just be one good video on the game to show you what it's like. Maybe see if you're interested. If it does bananas, then I guess we can play more. But it probably will just be this one video. But it's so freaking cute. It makes me so happy. I've loved what I've played, and I wanted to bring it your way. And we're just going to get right into it. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below if you're grabbing this game, or if you're grabbing a Switch Lite, because that's happening as well. It's a double trouble Nintendo day. Marin says, what a relief. Link's looking a little lost. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You are on Koaland Island. And Link's like, yo... I look like an amiibo, or the amiibo looks like me. I can't quite tell at this point in time, but goodness gracious, say what you want. Like, it's a, it's a game for kids, I guess, based on the graphics, but it's still just such a remarkable achievement that they made a game look like little toys, like little figures. It's like Toy Story come to life, except it doesn't have that lame ending. Also, there's a stand for a piranha plant in our room. If you don't know, Link's Awakening merged some Mario elements with the Zelda franchise back in the Game Boy days. I never played the original, and if you haven't, then maybe you'll view this a little bit differently as well, because to me it's super exciting, because it's like a brand new game. Well, Link, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Terran. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on back of this shield. Boom, baby. Already rocking and rolling. Ready to rumble. You got your shield back, repel some enemies, and away we go. The music is choice. The visuals are adorable, and the gameplay is like true Zelda gameplay. That's why I had to bring it. I wanted this on my channel, because I think it's super cool. There's been a lot of debate, like, if it's worth $60, because you can go get the original for like five, six bucks on 3DS. You're paying a premium for basically a new visual audio experience. And for some of you, that'll be worth it. For some of you, it won't be. And that's up to you to decide. You know, maybe you wait for a sale, see when it hits 40 or something of that sort. There's been so many games dropping uh, price on Switch, like, that normally doesn't ever happen for Nintendo. But they're doing it a lot lately. Um, so, may maybe you wait. There's also been a lot of discussion about the, uh, the frame drops. And I've played a little bit, and I haven't seen any. I I'm sure maybe they're there, because people have seen them. I just personally haven't experienced any. There's a lot of bad dudes here, and we don't have a sword. It's down by the beach, 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 beach. You gotta grab this sword first. They showed me this at E3. That's how I know where to go. I love that it's also, like, such an explorative adventure. No hand-holding. You gotta figure it out yourself. How many games do that these days? Not many. It's exciting. Hoot hoot, so you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. I think it's hilarious that... The owl thinks the monsters are acting violently because of this small little boy with the cute little hat and the tiny sword. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there, Hoot. All right, my dude. Fly away home. Go carry Mario away. Give me that sword. No messing around. I like these Zelda intros. You get your shield within five seconds, and you get your sword within five minutes. Pretty freaking great. That's how it's gotta be done. Hopefully that's how it's done in the future. Breath of the Wild had a much faster intro than what we're used to having. The music kicks in, the little leaf crabs are here, like nom 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 nom. Not about to let you ruin my day. Or this thing that looks like it's straight out of Horizon Zero Dawn. What is that object of power? It's funny because like, a lot of you probably have played the game back in the day. I mean, I don't know, maybe not a lot of you. It's old. It's like almost as old as me. Little monkey boy? What's up? What's up, Super Monkey Ball? You coming to Switch? Yes, you are. It's not the monkey ball I wanted, but it's coming. Little heart. What's in here? You can't play hero mode right from the start in this game, which makes things harder. Um, but I kind of want to just enjoy it. I don't want to- I don't really want to stress. Ooh, a hammock? Little footprints on the sand! And an alligator looks like a straight out of DK. What up, dude? 
Welcome to Sale's House of Bananas. I'm Sale, and this is my house. Actually, my, is it Sale or Sale? I don't want to call him Sale now. My hobby is collecting rare and unusual canned food. My brother's an artist, so I guess strange hobbies run in the family. Got a lot of good bananas. A lot of fruits, man. Got that speckled pear, that apple. I love this island. It's also cool because it's not Hyrule. And I know, like, Hyrule is beloved. Don't get me wrong, but... It's pretty freaking sweet that it's somewhere different. Colon Island, giving us those uh, lemonade slushy vibes, making me want to put on a bathing suit. It's remarkable how nice it looks. Like I, you know, part of me just wants to play this on the Switch Lite, like a sort of like a an ode to Switch Lite. Like, hey, Switch Lite, welcome. You're here. Also, this Link's Awakening is pretty great. And like as a throwback, since this initially was a Game Boy game, handheld just kind of feels like the way to roll. But at the same time, it's so pretty on the big screen. It's so nice looking up here. I can't decide. You can't record the Switch Lite. So I have to obviously dock it if I'm going to record it. So, um... Probably just play the rest handheld. Hoot hoot. Brave lad on your quest to wake the dreamer. Welcome to the mysterious forest. Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted colon time. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the Tail Cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching. Pretty freaking scary. You guys ever see those movies? Um, Once Upon a Forest, Fire Goes West, even Land Before Time. Like, this game also reminds me of that era. It's a pig lord! Oh, Moblin backstabbing me. Seriously, though? I got that, I got that shield to jab or stab you in the back. Oh, I see you. I know I know your patterns. I know your ways. Give me that blue. Give me that green. You're looking so mean. I don't understand why, though, because life is good. I don't know why you're so freaking mad and angry. Oh, this one has a sword. Look at him. Look at this guy. Trying to do good work. Some jellies. A little fairy girl. And... What else we got going on? Hmm. Now, I have played the beginning of this game at E3, so I do know that there's supposed to be a raccoon around here. Where are you at, my dude? It's interesting, though, because, like, how many games just start you off like this, and here you go. Away you go. Trying to do good work. Um, I don't know why. There he is. Hey, buddy. Look at this guy beating his dummy. As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. Alright. Gotta go find his dust and mist. You're gonna be lost thanks to me! Look at this dude. Trying to lock us up in a maze. A grass maze. The first thing we do, the first thing we see. A great fairy for you and for me. I have full health, so I don't need your services. I won't expend them. At least not yet. Be gone. I love the map in this game. It's so pretty. Look at this thing. The whole menu system is real pretty. Da, 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 da. It's just so pretty. Oh no, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan, my dudes. Get these jelly shoes out of here. Ooh, I got a guardian acorn. Reduces damage. Alright, I'm kinda I'm locked up now. Powered up. Did you know that you can get a jump in this game? You can make Link jump. How freaking futuristic is that? How freaking futuristic is that? Link was jumping back in the 80s, or the 90s, or whatever this- How old is this game? When did it come out? There's the raccoon boy. Oh, I think this is the exit. We don't want to leave. He's got me all lost, though. He's like, ha ha ha, I will ruin your day. Yeah, he's really- He's really throwing us through a, a, a mist walker maze. Um, okay. You gotta go, like, the right way, so... I'm gonna go down first, I guess. And then let's go through this little path here. Get back, get back. You don't know me like that. Oh, whoa! These jelly chews should be like strawberry flavored, not trying to bust my butt. Alright, let's go in here. Tunnel of love, or tunnel of pain. Not quite sure yet. Oh! Get out of here. I love that we get to break the crystals. We cannot. Wait, can we get to the chest? Let's see. Yo! Don't want to fall. Ooh, what is that orby guy? Thanks for the first chest of the game. It's a purple ruby! 50 big ones, baby. I'm locked and loaded. Also, I got a piece of power. 
So now I'm very angry. You know what this means for the raccoon. I'm to smack his butt. Oh no. Puzzle Zulu. I can't get there yet, I know that. I can't lift those skulls. Too heavy. Too heavy for my tiny Link Boy hands. Should I get the amiibo? I've kind of... I have like every amiibo, but I've kind of like laxed up. So I think I'm actually missing a couple now. You pick the toadstool. As you hold it over your head, a mellow aroma flows into your nostrils. This is what we need to take to the raccoon, but it's got to be turned into a powder first. And I'm, I'm glad that I'm glad that I got to play the intro at E3 so I could kind of know the beginning steps of this game. One, so I would have some sense of what the game wants you to do. And two, so I wouldn't bore you guys with like, I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like that would be pretty rough and you guys would get bored the first 30 minutes of the video as we just wandered. Now it's like a pretty direct path so you get to see a little bit more of the game. We get to get a little bit farther in this video. Uh, but normally you just start this off and be like, I don't know where to go. Which is crazy to me. You know, games just aren't like that. They just don't do that. Even Nintendo stuff, like it's... They don't... They don't give you all this just crazy free will to go explore as you want and, and see. I mean, you can, you can just stumble upon things that you're not ready for. I mean, you're not going to really get very far, but you can. Alright, now... I gotta get up and over. I gotta go check out... There's a mysterious... I'll tell you guys this much. There's a mysterious witch that is going to help us powderify this little toadstool. Get out of my way. Got a big old pig. Gonna roast ya. On the spigot. Alright. Welcome to a much brighter area. Look at that guy! That fish should be cool. Fish be cool, fish be quick. I'm trying to burn down the trees. Forest fires are dangerous, dude. Don't even don't even get me started. Alright, this witch is like, ah, it has the sleepy toadstool, it does. We'll mix it up into something in a jiffy. She's like, I'm gonna let you get that raccoon ready. I'm gonna wake him from his stupor. Or at least bump him on his head. So he cannot obscure our path. Magic powder, magic powder. Alright. So we equip that magic powder. Ooh! Lighten stuff up? Didn't know it could do that. Use that on your enemies and see what happens. If you run out, go to the forest, pick some toadstools, I'll make you more. Come back without a toadstool, you may have to pay a price. Okay. I like a little mouse guy. Mickey, is that you? Disney had to make budget cuts after Galaxy's Edge kind of fell apart, so... I understand Mickey's looking for a new job. I guess I kind of just saw, like, a frame drop a little bit. You guys see that? I guess a little. Like, it's not bad, but I guess I noticed it a bit. And it's interesting because, you know, the game is very pretty, but you, you'd think, like, hey, they would have been able to get this running wonderfully, right? Like, it's not that techno technically uh, advanced, really, in any way, I don't think. Question mark? Busting boys left and right. Where's the raccoon? Out of sight. Great fairy. How you doing? Almost at 100 rupees. It's weird that the guy isn't here. Like, I have to somehow wind my way back to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, how does one find the raccoon man who's no longer standing where he's supposed to be? What if I go down this way? Raccoon man, are you here? There you are. Haha, you ready for this action? Boom! Got you dizzy if I with that power. I've heard the later dungeons are actually kind of tricky. I've heard that this game gets really cool. Oh, it's freaking Mario! No, it's not. Don't worry. Although it would be sweet if it was. The last thing I can remember was biting into a big Josie toadstool. Then I had the darndest dream I was a raccoon! Sounds strange, but it sure was fun. Alright, so we saved this dude. I'm all tuckered out. I think I'd better set a spell before I head home. Alright, so we uncovered the mystery of the forest, and that allowed us to grab the little key with the worm on the end! It's like a glowworm sucking on a sucker. He's like, nom nom nom, that key is delish. Oh no. Ollie the owl is back. Take the key and go to the tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. The instrument? The windfish is waiting! About to form a band? About to make lovely sounds. Link doesn't even speak, so he definitely needs instruments if he wants to make music, right? Like, 
I'm glad that Hoot Hoot knows that. It's definitely true. Link, Link can't sing. You guys ever want a talking Link? Like, would you want that in Breath of the Wild 2? Would you want Link to open his mouth and be like, Dear Zelda, I've been waiting for you. Or would that just ruin it for you? I guess there are some frame drops. You see those? Picking up hearts. In hero mode, um, damage does, I think, two times as much, and you there's no heart pickups. It's pretty rough. But I'll take a heart container. Piece of a heart. Working towards a container. Cool, cool. Up the very tiny stairs. Also, this game kind of reminds me in a weird way of, like, you know how, like, I don't know, maybe your mom has one. Like, those little villages that moms get, and I'm like, oh, they have, like, a little, like, a little bakery, and they have a little, uh, I don't know, a train station, and then they, they like, put them up at, like, Christmas time and stuff. This game, like a diorama, basically. That's what I'm trying to think of. That's what kind of this game reminds me of. Alright, here is the tail K Lucky that we know where to go with the star. It's about to get wild when we don't. Beautiful. Drop. Look, only two bars. If I was bowling, that would be a split. Um, but at least I can still make my way inside the tail key, unlock the cave. And now I'm ready to go binding of Isaac on these fooligans. Welcome to the tail cave. Mysterious eyes. So many eyes. Also, so many jellies on my dang took us. All right, this guy. Hey, get back. Bump him. Get out of here. Hit the switch. Grab the chest. God, I love the sound effects in this game. Kind of wish my life had these sound effects. You, you make yourself lunch and you get a. Doo -doo -doo -doo. You solve the crossword puzzle and you get a. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Call your mom and she says, Thanks for calling! Da, 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 da. I would love that. That would be nice. I'm a pretty nice person too, so I think I get a lot of cool sound effects. And in it we find the dungeon map. Heck yeah, let's take a look. Is the dungeon map as cool as the world map? Oh, it's not as cool, but it looks kind of neat. I've heard that the dungeon builder stuff isn't that great. Like, you know this, one of the, the, the few features they added to this game for the remake, the dungeon builder mode? I've heard that it's kind of lame, which makes me super sad. Let's go in here. Got no strings to hold me down, but I'm a skeleton jumping around. Oh, Alice! Alice in freaking Wonderland. Got you. That was an easy puzzle. Or maybe I'm just a brainiac. I don't know. Definitely an easy puzzle. Alright. Brave himself thinks awakened the ASMR edition. We just opened a statue. Or opened a chest that unlocked a stone beak for this statue right here. Drop the beak in. Turn aside the spined ones with the shield. Sounds like a plan. Look for the spined ones. Slash the skeleton. Avoid the sunshine orb. Drop him like it's hot. But don't touch the things that are actually hot. Slash the bat. Walk your way around today. All right, I'm gonna stop that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be done with that. I'm gonna open and get another key though, that's good. It can open a long door. Ooh, hey. Red is sun, you're no fun. Smashing me to half health. Little crystal cage there, you see that? Oh, it looks like there's a bomb door. You see that right there? Really? Please give me a heart or something. Doesn't it look like a bomb door over there? It absolutely does. Thanks for the heart. I don't know if it's something that I can open. I don't have, definitely don't have bombs yet, but I do have a red rupee. Um, but I'm sure you come back and get like a heart container or something, but that's absolutely a bomb door over there. Absolutely freaking literally. Hey, I, I, gotta, I gotta get a little better at um, hitting enemies. They kind of they kind of come up at me quick and I'm like, oh, swing the sword. Ooh, baby, baby. A lot, of, a lot of bad boys in here. All right, let's move quick, let's move quick, let's move quick, let's move quick. Any of you getting a switch light out there? You're getting yellow, you're getting turquoise, you're getting gray. What does this guy say? If there is a door that you can't open, move a square block. Okay. Ah, I'm gonna get hit. I gotta be careful, I gotta be careful, I gotta be careful. Okay, correct block, good. We needed that. Oh no, it's these guys. Little spinies are kind of like Koopas. Two is the price we pay. And then today, 
We get a staircase, not a chest, a staircase here. I like it. Can we stick a beak in this owl too? Is our beak a universal beak? Does it work for every bird? It does. Turn aside the spawn. Okay, thanks. If you couldn't figure it out, they had to tell you twice. Oh, Goombas! Can I jump on him? Ah, I missed! Like I told you, you can get a jump in this game, so eventually we will be able to just jump on the Goomba ourselves. Yeah, buddy. Mario would be proud. I love that they have Mario inclusions in this game. I think it's so freaking sweet. I wish Nintendo would do more crossovers. They have so many cool characters that would love to meet and greet, I think. They do in Smash. Look how fun that is. A flying heart. Beware, beware the spinning blades of doom. Acquire the leaf that will let us go in full bloom. Rock's feather allows us to jump. Check this out. Boom! I'm now Air Jordan, Air Link. We're rolling through the air. I did not know until I started playing this game that there was a jump in it. I, I had no idea that Link's Awakening was such a futuristic Zelda experience, but you could freaking jump. And it's a pretty big jump. It allows you to bust over just about anything. It's pretty sweet. So you see this gap, like, ah! Don't have to mind the gap anymore. All right, jump over all these guys. Make them pay. Make them pay today. All right, Let's head out here. Bats in the room. Bats in the room. Give me another chest. No, I thought I thought maybe you're gonna give me a chest, but I guess not. Where does this take us? Uh huh. Back here. Okay. So now we gotta find somewhere we can probably jump over to acquire a new key. It's all about the keys, please. All right, I'm guessing it's gonna be in the skeleton room over here. I love all the enemies. I can't wait to see more. Like, to me, it's one of the joys of this game is just getting to experience all the enemies in this cool art style. All the different guys and goofs. Big jump. Oh, goodness gracious! I think I just ate this guy for lunch. Yo, dude, how you get so beefy and big like that? That's a body, dude. What size do you wear? Goodness gracious. I'm not fat shaming, I'm just impressed. This guy looks like he looks like a dessert, doesn't he? He looks like you just eat him. I don't know if he tastes very good. Hey! We're about to find out. Take a bite, take a bite. Um, 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 um. He had a little boy inside of him. That's terrifying. Okay, it was a little fairy to refill our health. Nice. Good thing I got those jumping powers. Um, oh, this is spooky as heck. Check this out. Hi! Okay, it's hearts. I don't need the hearts. I got full hearts. I'm gonna stay away from all those Skella Lords. Hang it around. Jump it. Ow, that really hurt. I thought it went. Okay, what does this do? Heal me? Heal me? Oh, it's a teleporter. Okay, cool. Probably the front of the dungeon. Which might be nice. Where do we need to go? Alright, there's a couple hidden rooms. See, this is where we need to get this key right here. This chest, which will take us probably into the boss room. Bouncing back, bouncing back, bouncing back. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Okay! Wait, is that my chest? That's my key. There we go, baby. Don't leave the room, Link! The beautiful key is here. Link's got a pretty, he's got to have a pretty cool, like, key belt, right? He's like, whoa, what the heck is this? Ow. Fire flame spitting. I didn't call for the little Link. You've got the compass. Now you can see where the chest and nightmare are hidden. A tone will tell you if a key is nearby. Okay, so this is the nightmare. Ah. It's a nightmare. Get it? It's a nightmare. Do you know why? I'm not going to spoil it. I learned this at E3. All right, so we can wait. Um, no, we gotta go. Gotta go up through here. I gotta get back to go grab my boss key. I'm getting the big rupees. We are. We're about to be a big spender as soon as we find a shop. I got like a hundred and twenty-five of these bad boys. You're dead to me and to everyone else. All right, that worm that kind of looks like a triple cheeseburger on steroids. I'm gonna leave him alone. Take out the bat, grab the piece of power. I feel it in my bones. Yeah! That guy doesn't even care. Alright, open this up. They lock the staircase down. 
Oh, goodness gracious, thanks. I love that the compass plays its own that close. Like, there's a key nearby, in case you can't see the chest right in front of you with the boss key, the nightmare key. It's right there, we promise. Goofy. Goofy, goofy. Oh, you can't jump over everything. All right. Well then, lads and lasses. Let's head back this way. Um, to the mysterious cavern with the nightmare boss. This is where the big jelly man was. The freaking frosted cake. Kind of looked like a gross cake. Like if a cake had, had lumps and stuff. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. 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 Alright. What is your nightmare? Unleash the feast. It's a giant burger with lettuce. Dang it. What are those eyeballs? Are, th are those maggots? Goodness gracious. This is a McDonald's mess. Moldorm is here. He's the seed. Moldy. I'm telling you. This is a moldy cheeseburger. He has lettuce for health, but then he's got those moldy bumps on his eyes, and I just can't feel. Ah! I wonder how many cool items there are in this game. Like, I'm assuming there's still, like, the, the typical stuff, like the boomerang and hook shot and whatever. We'll find out. I don't, I don't know. I, I know a few things from the beginning of the game, like I've shown you guys thus far, but that's literally it. Alright, Burger Boy. Burger Bunsen is pissed off! He's like, don't call me moldy, just take a bite, I promise I'm delicious. I'm just as good as all my brothers. Okay. For serious, my dude? The burger took the bite out of me. I cannot believe I just got a game over. I retire from gaming. Sayonara. Okay, we're actually back, don't worry. I'm gonna do it again. Thank goodness this isn't hero mode. Now you see why I don't, don't want to play hero mode. That dude, I don't know, it's a tiny space. I don't, I don't know if I can block him or not. I don't think so. He's like a cheeseburger. He's not just a, a basic enemy. Alright, come on now. Let's go, burger boy. Moldorm, get your mold game on. Let's go. I'm not no, I'm not playing around this. Can I block him? I'm guessing the answer is no. I just gotta try to stay away. It's hard. His pattern's a little unrecognizable. Goodness gracious, jerk. I can't get hit. Ugh. Okay. Angry Burger. Ah. Ah. Whoa, that was so close. Almost got hit. Golly. Yes, there we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I was about to die twice to you guys. I forgot you were legitimate. Shaka Zulu, baby. Give me that heart container. Mm. Now I have four hearts, so I can die less. Thank you. Goodness gracious, you got a heart container. Your maximum number of hearts increased, and your health has been refilled too. Wait, I found a freaking guitar! What is this? Oh, it's a cello. Yep, full moon cello. Dude, I'm gonna be the, the, the suavest jazz man in the land. Link is gonna be getting all the girls with his cello music. That's the, that's the jam, baby. Look at this. Dude, he's playing such a... Oh, gosh. That melody, man. How, how are you about to be a... A windfish and sleep when you've got that going on. Goodness gracious. All right. Swamp. Swamp. A path opens into blooms. Hiya! All right. We did it, baby. Dungeon one down. And away we go. We did it in style, too, because we kind of knew a little bit about where to go. Now it's like a great mysterious beyond. Ooh, 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 that's an instrument of the sirens. Ooh, ooh. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. Ooh, ooh. Me or the instrument? <laughs> that instrument along with the seven others. Oh, dude, we legit are bringing the band back together to lift that ooh, wind ooh. fish out of his little sleepy slumber. All right, your next goal is north in Gopanga Swamp. Hoot and beat. Hoot it up. Hoot it up, hoot it up, hoot it up, hoot it up. What's the, what's the hoot hoot cheer? Can it be hoot it up? I like that a lot. Do you like how the edges of the screens blur as you move? Well, now we can jump. So now nothing, nothing can stop me. I'm just jumping left and right. Out of sight. Okay, where's Gopanga Swamp? That's the Colent Prairie. That's the Witch's Hut. That kind of looks like a swamp. I have memories? I remember the swamp. A path opens in the balloon. All right. Let's head back to the village. Oh, no. These boys are going crazy. What's up, dudes? Did you lose in Fortnite? What's up? Hey, buddy. It's serious. Yeah, really serious. 
Yeah, it is. The Moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole gang of Moblins. Then it's for real. They all went to the house. That house, and then they did something at Bow Wow's house. It was a really bad scene with the Moblins. So, I mean, uh, it might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. What is Bow Wow? Is that a dog? Oh, God, this lady is going crazy. Oh, it's terrible. My Bow Wow was dog napped. Yep, he's a dog. The Moblins took him. Please, somebody help my poor Bow Wow. Oh, no. Any evidence in here? Hello, little chain shot. Yep, yep, I like you. Is this a stand for something? It says Bow Wow. Oh, goodness, Bow Wow stands there? Well, I don't know. It's kind of a weird way to live, Bow Wow. You just have to stand on a stand. This is a Chow Chow stand? Link can't live nothing. Link needs to go work out. I mean, we did just take down a moldy cheeseburger, but I'm not sure how heavy... Okay, this music is... This music is my new jam. Love it. Alright, wannabe Zelda. Tell me what's up. What are you doing? Link, Terrence taking a nap at home. I don't know how he can sleep on such a nice... Oh, it's not really a nice day. There's someone, someone stole a dog. Can you tell? It makes you want to sit... Oh my gosh. This girl isn't fit to be Zelda. She's so oblivious. Hypnotic voice, though. But she's freaking oblivious. Burr. Burr, burr. Do you, have you seen the dog? Hey, dude, what do you think of Marin? Uh, I don't know. I'm just a kid. Trying to date Marin? I see what's up. Can't jump over there. I don't, yeah, you can't get over rocks. Okay, well, if my logical brain tells me anything, it's that this girl's singing when a dog was kidnapped, and that's so disrespectful, but there are moblins up in the mysterious forest, so we head up that way and see if we can't make our way towards this mysterious puppy. In we go. Back to Mysterious Forest. Listen up, Moblins. I'm coming for you. Yeah! Lit you on fire. Literally. Goodness gracious sakes alive. No more raccoon. I do have 137 rupees. About to be rich. Almost can afford a switch light. Let's jump this way. It's gotta be like a new path, right? No, actually, we've been here before. Let's look at the map. Okay, this is the path to the witch. That's a path... I don't know where. The swamp's this way, though. Let's see. Maybe it all interlinks. The swamp. Bow wow. It's all coming together in one spot. Goodness. Oh, yeah. And we can also get this now. Thanks for the Harkatana! Harpies! The Harkatana! Get it right, Zach. You got it. Good. Okay, the witch is down below. Let's see what's up here. What's this? Tal Tal Heights. That's not a swamp. Well, that is a swamp, but Tal Tal Heights is not a swamp. Okay, what are these guys up to? Big pigs in the land. Ooh. These guys are orange pigs. Are you guys still technically moblins, I think? What's up, moblin lords? Hey. What does this say? You're close to Telltale -tel Heights. Dampe's shack is nearby. Ooh, Dampe! Wasn't here. Oh no, it's the Goblin Coliseum. Huh? Who's this suspicious looking runt? Okay, boys, let's get rid of him. Great. Gonna have to fight these Moblin Goblins until they open. Oh, the music is back. Maybe the dog is here. Oh god, this is. Oh, that's so many Spear Lords. Here we go. Although I'm running out of health. I'm fast. Got you. Good. Good, 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 good. Alright, where's that puppy? Oh! Is this the puppy? Is this Bow Wow? You must be an assassin. Oh no! This is the guy that captured the dog! He came to get me, but it is I who will get you. Okay. What's up, Lord Beef? Dude, those are big spears. He will not take damage, so I'm guessing we have to wait. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah! Alright, get him good. Get him good. He is confuzzled. He has homing spears, and he runs into walls like a dodo. Yeah, there we go. Look at that multi-hit striker. Oh, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw some magic powder on him. Now I probably shouldn't waste the magic powder, but oh, I didn't do anything. I thought maybe it would light him on fire like his little moblin brothers. Keep running. Ooh. Nope, he's getting smart. All right, so I have to bring him. I guess bring him closer and have him run into the walls. Yeah, there you go, my dude. I got. Ooh, I took him out already. 
Dude, I am the beast. Feed me your little boy inside you. That sounds horrible, but I'm talking about the fairy. Alright, is the dog in here? Eh? Where's the dog? Chain Champ, did you eat him? Hello? This is Bow Wow? Bow Wow is a fr What? Bow Wow is a Chain Champ, and now I get him? Oh my god. This is the best walk a dog experience I've ever had. We're walking a chain shop. We're walking a freaking chain shop! Let's go! Let's go! Where where should we go? Alright, let's walk this chain shop all around. I'm just gonna I'm gonna parade him around town and be like, yo, I say bow wow. Also, he's a chain shop. Also, my boy Hoot is coming back. I can hear it. Ooh, so there's a fearsome looking animal you have there. Do not forget the next instrument is in Koponga Sua. Alright. Oh, Dombe! My dude, I love this guy! What's up, Dombe? Hey, you made it out here. That speaks well of you. Maybe you can help me out with a little job. I'm Dombe, and my job around this island is to dig up interesting stuff. When you have some time to spare, come see me in my shack over there. Alright, we gotta get to the swamp with my freaking chain chomp. But, it's gonna be good. Wait, can I not get to the swamp here? Dang it! Chain Chomp, eat the rock! Is there no way down? There isn't. Oh, okay. So we gotta get around to the swamp. Alright, we open this all up, which is cute. It's gotta be this path then, and then come around. Because we can't get in... Yeah, there's trees and then the rocks, and trees and the rocks. It looks like I could just squeeze through here, but I, I guess I'm too fat. Gabe, you're too fat. Did you see that stealth move? Metal Gear Solid. Chain Chomp is freaking volatile. Look at that guy go. All right, we're heading up this direction. Northwest, as they say. Mind the gap. Get him. Get him. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Good boy, good boy. All right, another hut. Who's in here? Ooh, a fine gentleman. Yeah. Mr. Wright says, I pretty much stick to myself. My, me and my letters. My name's Wright. <sighs> the only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. Dude, you write and no one ever responds? That's the worst. <sighs> Who do you write letters to, man? You can write one to me. I'll write back. Gosh, when's the last time you put a letter in the freaking mail? All right. Me and Chinch, I'm about to go ham on these uh, summer squashes. What are these enemies? What would you call them? What is this? This... Like freaking gyrate, and I don't like that. It looks like it's digesting something. All right, into another magic cave. We can jump. You know how I like to jump. Chain jump. Good jump, chain jump. We got a red rupee. I am rich, baby. Now I can almost buy a switch light. An evil skull over there says uh, you cannot come this way. I'm hoping that the next dungeon gives me. Look at that. He has multi kill. I'm hoping that the next dungeon allows me to um lift heavy stuff. Can change up, come up ladders? I can. Hello, little man. Music, the fish stirs in the egg. You are there. I'm at the swamp, okay. They can hear the music. The fish is stirring in the... Wait, the fish is in the egg? I'm birthing the fish? That's kind of terrifying. Oh, look, he wants to go that way. He wants to, maybe he wants to feast. You want to feast more, change up? Let's go. We got a guardian acorn. All right, let's make a telephone call. Phone a friend. What's up? This is such a weird game, but I love it. Bring, bring. Hello, it's me, Alryra. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. Oh, dude, is this like our hint guide? The indigestible flowers of Goponga Swamp. Those flowers are Bow Wow's favorite. Okay, sweet. So we gotta take Bow Wow for a walk in the swamp. Probably not good for his paws, but it's okay. And I think we found the swamp. Yep, Goponga Swamp, we're here. Gosh, there's piranhas. Will you eat the piranha? Eat him! Eat him! I don't think I... Yeah, I can't hit these guys. Oh, he's eating the flowers, though. That's good news. Okay, let's try to dodge the fish. Look at this big daddy flower. I don't know if you can eat this. It's shooting stuff at me. Ah, poison? Oh, I got. I did get the fish. Dude, my boy Chain Chomp is just eating everything. Get it! Go get this one. Go get this guy. Get him! Get him, he's trying to hurt me. There you go. Yeah, buddy. Got my piece of power. I'm in the briar patch here. A purple rupee. Now I can get the switch light. 
Now I can get the switch light. 223. I even got change for tax. Okay. Here we go. Good feasting. And this is the other side of the, the swamp where we were before and couldn't access. Beautiful. Ow. Fish can hurt you even underwater. Beware of the big spines. All right. I need more beak action. Oh, we didn't bring... Bow Wow can't come out. Is he still out here or did he leave? Oh, no. Did we lose Bow Wow? Oh, he's still here. Okay, you just can't go in the dungeon. Well, that's sad, but all right. It's almost as sad as me not being able to lift anything. It's dark and scary and a little bit hairy. Okay, um... Oh, yeah, there we go. Magic powder. Give me that chowder. All right. Ooh, green Skellimon. Ooh, he has a butt stomp? Dude, this really is a freaking Mario game. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Gotcha. Okay. Give me that key. Give me that key. Give me that key. That key. That key. Alright. There was a key room over here, right? Run. Run, Link. Run. Got a bolt out of there. Like Usain himself. Oh, God. Ow. That's, that's not fair. It's like right in the freaking doorway? Ah, I'm really low on hearts. I gotta be careful, guys. Bouncing back, bouncing back, bouncing back. Get off my platform. Thank you, my dude. And what I get? I got another beak! I have bird beaks in my pockets like a crazy person. They're gonna think I'm a poacher. Light it up, light it up. Okay, nothing there. Yeah. And yeah. I'm getting smarter about that. I don't want to get hit by every last little spiky object in this world. Okay. Let's go this way. Whoop. Okay, there's the beak. There's the beak, Lord. Put the beak in. Part of the floor is raised. Tap the shining. Come on, man. Really? That's the advice you're going to give me? Tap the crystal? Okay, well, I like crystal puzzles. Oh, ooh. Dude, what is this? Is this my grandma? Evil witch? Look at this. Oh, it's like a grim reaper. Get out of here, reaper. All right. Thank you for the chest. That is what's best. It's another silver key. It's another silver key. Okay. Into the mysterious beyond. Oh, yes. What is that, 10? 10? 10 coins? 10 what? Oh, 10 magic powders! Dropping a chest down. Okay, cool. Open it up, and you will find another key. How divine. I've got two of them now. I'm ready for your door puzzles. All right. Um, I guess that allows me to break the crates. Oh, Linky. I don't know what's in these crates, but... Dude, I gotta get something that I- some power to lift stuff, because it's really causing me strife. Shy guys? Shy guys? There we go. Gotta hit him in the back, their masks protect the way. A third key. Are you sorry, us? So many keys. So, I'm rich, baby. I got cash, I got keys. Bounce them. I learned that from my beak lord friend. I like to think that the beaks- are just my token to talk to the owl from afar. We're gonna go on this one. I'm getting deep into this place. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Um, uh, okay, is the beak guy gonna give me a tip on how to freaking uh, lift stuff? Make every block design the same, a new path will open. Okay. Ow! I gotta be careful. <laughs> Mysterious circus! There's still that key I've left, left. Yeah. I love that it goes side-scrolling like freaking Mario Brothers. Oh my goodness gracious. This game is amazing. Get at me, Mario. You ain't got nothing. Does Mario have a sword? No. Does Mario have magic powder? No. Link's got both those. And he's got the side-scrolling things. And he's got Goombas and Chain Chomp. And he's a Chain Chomp pet. Has Mario ever had a Chain Chomp pet? Triple hearts. Don't dart. But get inside the wall. <laughs> It's a freaking one-eyed Goomba with hair! Oh my god, he looks like a grappler. I don't like him. I don't like him. Don't grapple me. Oh, 
Oh my god. Ow! No! And dude, and bombs? Oh my god! What the heck? I don't know how to avoid him. He's so fast. Like literally, I can't avoid him. He's gonna give me a game over. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know how to avoid his, his throws. Okay, I'm trying, everybody. Ah, I fell and died. Dang it! <laughs> oh, that dude. I guess I've just run the, the the perimeter of the room. Goodness gracious. Thank goodness for fast loads. Well, now we can go spend our other key. I think I was progressing too too far. Let's look at the map. Uh, oh, we've been all there. The key is in this next room. All right. Watch out for the little buzzle, Billy. What is that thing called? Electric boogaloo? All right. Dude, that guy jumped on my head. What do we got in here? Shy guy puzzle world. Okay, come here, man. Come here, man. Come here. Why is he not dying? I'm hitting him from behind. Right? There we go. Is that gonna give me another? Oh, maybe it's the map. Maybe it's the compass. I was gonna say, they can't give me possibly another key, right? It's the compass. Okay, cool. Now I know where chests are and I know where the knight. Oh, wow. This is a big spot. Okay, so that, that grappler goblin was only half of it. Let's get through here. Um, the key, there's a key right around this room, right? It's right here. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Thanks, Compass. I didn't know there was a key there. I appreciate it. Let the Grim Leaper lie. Um, I don't need powder right now. But. I think I got him. It's got to be right in the back. Okay. I hope these guys give me hearts because I'm gonna need them for Lord Grapple Man. No hearts, cool. Heart? No hearts. Can I push these? No, they're all in the center. Wait, can we grab them? No. I don't think I can grab yet. Oh, I forgot there's one more room. Heart, please. Heart, please. It's a rupee, not a heart. Alright. Here we go, we descend into the floor of the Mighty Beast after a little Mario feast. Sorry for the game over. Oh, I feel so bad. But it's okay, it's, it's real, right? This is this is like, this is as it happens. I'm not gonna cut that out. Okay. Hearts, take me to the Grapple Lord. I'm ready to fight you, let's go. Yeah, get beefy. Everybody's so big. Okay. I'm just gonna do one hit at a time. I think it's like I just got in like a bad like streak where I was like too close to him and he was just getting me over and over again. That's three hits. What do you, what do you think it takes? Five? Four? Five? How oh, many hits? Six hits. Seven hits. Eight hits. Eight hits. Eight is great for number eight. You have one divided by eight morals for trying to kill Link over and over again. Alright, that's the teleporter. That's good. We can get halfway through the... Oh, what are these guys? Um... I can't... I hate that I can't lift any of this stuff yet. Unless I'm missing a way to lift. Can I push these? No. Somebody's gotta give me something to lift. I... I what, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Open up. Can it be gauntlets to lift? It's the dungeon map. That's cute, but I want... Ah! Ow. Oh my goodness, the bat knock... Oh my god, really? That magic black hole, purple hole. I'm losing it. Please stop throwing me away. I don't appreciate it. What are we getting here? It's a red rupee. I need something to lift. Can I have bigger arms? Thankfully, I have a key. Getting here. <gasps> Booze? 
Seriously, booze? Yeah, there we go. Evaporation station. Give me an another chest. What is this one? Possibly rupees. Another key. Ooh, yes! The power bracelet! Oh my god, it's been so long. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Welcome to the world of wonder. The world of cheer. I'm so freaking pleased about this. I'm so pleased. Give me my heart. Thanks, man. Oh, yes. And another key. Okay, cool. Now. The boss is here. But I kind of want to see where that staircase would have led us. So let's go back now that we're able to get to it, okay? Sucking my hearts in. That was for me. Alright. So here we go. This we can get to now. There's another heart. What does Beak Boy say? First defeat the imprisoned Pole's voice. Last defeat the skeletal skull foes. What? First defeat the imprisoned Pole's voice, then defeat the skull foes? It's more Mario! Are these pipes? Oh my gosh, they're freaking pipes. Oh! Holy cow! And you can kill the piranhas because you have a freaking sword! They look so cool. They look so realistic. They're like lifelike. I love it. All right, down we go into a different part of the dungeon. Oh. Okay. First kill the... Imp Is this the pole's voice thing? Hi. How do I kill you? come out? How, what is this thing? Please come out here. How do I make it get out? Come out here. Huh. First the imprisoned... Okay. What? First the imprisoned... So I have to get that guy out first and then... He have to throw a throw it at the guy. I don't understand. What am I supposed to do? I don't understand. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I did it wrong. I have to kill... Okay. So to get the chest, I, I guess I have to kill him first with the... Okay. So they're gonna require me to kill the bunny rabbit first, which is kind of sad. And then I have to kill... Okay. Him first, and then the skeleton guy. No, that's wrong? Isn't that what the guy said? Okay, maybe I have to leave the bat alone. Okay. Let's try this. First him. Then the bat. Then this boy. And we get our chest! Yes! He better be worth it. I want a hundred rupees. Or a freaking something. It's not the boss key, I don't think, so... Oh, it is the boss key! Yes, it's the nightmare key! Heck yeah! Oh, baby, that's great! That's great news. Can't have my piece of power because it's stuck. 
Okay, well, let's go up here. Okay, I gotta be careful. I do not have much health. I do not have much health at all. Okay. I don't know how to make these guys leave. I guess I can go up this way. Good deal. Um, I gotta be real careful about my health. Thank you. Bounce this dude back into this hole right here. There you go. Hmm. What am I doing? I'm like so uh, enamored by the crystal that I'm like, Ugh. I don't think I have to go back that way though. I think I've already been there. I think it's better to go in here. Okay. Get out of here, mice men. This is probably another like, kill one of them than this type thing. That's my guess. Or not, or just kill all of them. And find yourself a little stair, well. A little stairway to doom. Stairway to nightmare, right? Thanks, fairy man. Okay. Um, I'm guessing we're gonna go down and then come back up or something? I don't know. Yeah, this is probably a pathway over here. Ooh. Ride the stairs. These, these parts are awesome. Like, I love these, like, Mario-esque segments. They're so freaking sweet. Think any of these are going to yield anything cool? Let's see. Nope. Just for fun. Oh. He's got to be... Wait. I think he's got to be weighed down? I think that's the deal? Well, when you throw them, they break, so it's a little tricky. Hmm, let me try again, though. Or maybe I have to magic powder him? I don't know. Okay. I love how puzzly this is getting already. There we go. Yeah, we gotta be heavier. I like it. Yeah! That's why they come in handy. Okay, I see you. Alright, we made it to the boss. Are you guys ready for another boss? Two in one video? Two dungeons, baby? This is gonna be good. And we're almost... Oh, this is, we're at full health. Ooh, what is this? Is the boss? Is it in there? Is it a genie? It is a genie. Oh my god. Ho ho ho, I'm a bad guy this time. It's freaking terrifying. It's a genie! The genie! Kinda looking like he got inspiration from Pennywise, but he's juggling fire. He's a Poodaboo juggler. Okay, are you ready for this? I'm not. Here we go. What are you gonna do? Okay. Cute. I love it. I can't hit you. Ugh, I can't move, but I'm still alright. Your little sword won't break this bottle. Even the wall. Okay. Pick him up. Throw him against the wall. There we go. We're gonna try to break his bottle so the genie can't be captured. You can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. Okay. Let's go, Juggle Lord. I'm ready for your next trick. That tongue, though, man. That's gotta get caught on a lot of things and probably be, get really gross by the end of the day. Okay. Knock the bottle. Pick him up. Crack him. Alright. I wanna see what else you got. This little juggling routine is not, it's not working. You notice that, man? You notice it's not working? Get back in the bottle. Come here, man. Crack that bottle. Now we can damage him. You broke my bottle! Okay. Oh, oh, snap. Okay. Wow, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Whoa! Don't like that at all. Okay. I don't know. Are you supposed to wait when he does this, I guess? Yeah, there we go. All right, we're taking Genie out. No more wishes for this dude. Okay, that's three hits. Technically six hits, because we three-hitted the bottom, we three-hitted the boy. So if it's going to be eight, like the others, that's seven. Yeah. 
Wow, it's like a it's like a homing fireball. That's eight strikes. He seems to be getting faster and faster, a little bit maybe out of control. Nine hits. Nine hits, everybody. I guess I'm gonna try to like charge up this attack. There we go. It was the magic strike. That pop gene and delivered another heart container. And probably another instrument. Brilliant. I'm up to five. Let's go. Mm. Health has been refilled. Maximum attained. And in here we find the, the tuba. Or the French horn. What is this? It is the conch horn. Conch horn. Conch. It plays music from the sea. Lovely as can be. Yeah, that's my jam. Dude, Link is gonna be, he's gonna be so famous by the end of this. I love what he's up to. Alright. Very, very, very cool. Okay. Prairie, prairie. Going to colon prairie, I'm guessing. The prairie is waiting. Telegraphed much on that one? Just because we've been there already, I guess it's a little easier. All right, cool, cool, cool. Me and my chain jump, ready to roll. Rocking and socking our way as we go. And now I can pick this stuff up. Ugh! Now I'm a beast. Okay, Telltale Heights. The Colon Prairie is down here. Okay, we're where we want to be. We're where we need to go. Yup, me and chain jump just rolling. We got a sword. We got a shield. We got the ability to uh, head over towards um, Crazy Tracy. And Manbo's pond. It's smashed. Oh la la la! Take a bath with your dog. All right, let's talk to Crazy Tracy. Ooh, looking crazy. Hi there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. Will you give me 28 rupees for my secret? Sure, yeah. All right, come here and I'll rub it on you. There, I've applied my own secret medicine. It will take effect when you lose all hearts. Drop by again, big guy. Here's some bonus treatment. Behold, your hearts are full. Well, they already were full, but thanks anyways. Also, why has everybody got mice in this land? Also, I hope you don't mind my dog. He licks a lot. All right, so it's an insta-revive, I guess? Take it. Evil crows. Oh, they're gonna bomb dive? They're bomb diving birds. I like that. Is this still the prairie? This is the Tabal Wasteland. You think we gotta go down here? I bet we gotta go down there. Let me get, get me out of here. These crows are crazy. These crows are crazy. All right, this is the witch's house. Cemetery. Wait, what is that prairie called? You cuckoo prairie? Okay. And we got dudes crawling out of the ground. Mole men. Oh my god. This is a nightmarish scenario. Wait, aren't we- are we in the prairie? It's down here? It's my dude, Tempe, or whatever. Dompe, sorry. Good scene, you got your other stuff squared away for right now? In that case, let's step into my shack. Oh, okay. We're gonna step in here- can I step on this platform? What does this do for me? Some strange energy is pouring from here. You should find out what it does. Oh god. Where am I going? Where am I going? Up the skies above. And I return with... nothing. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is a terrifying land! Where are we? Oh, I bet this is the dungeon right here. Right there, right there. I don't know how the heck we're gonna get there. Ow! Hey, now. Get gone. Okay. Dompe is like, come see me. This platform is being super weird. This is a flying octorok. Okay, cool. What's in here? Maybe a heart piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we can lift the skulls. Yes! Okay. This is dangerific, though, because check this out. Um. Okay, I think I got I think I know what I'm doing here. I think I got this. We're gonna get the heart piece and the chest. I love this. Smash it. Heart piece, baby. Yeah, buddy. That's how we rock and roll. Bow Wow is so happy. He's licking my ear. I love it. And then we knock this to the side. And we grab... Two dungeons down. Chain Chomp in tow. 
A lot of rupees and a long way to go. That's gonna do it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this look at Rinse Awakening. Like I said, probably just gonna be one video. I had to bring it your way. I love the game. I love the look. It's so fun. It's so cool. So, uh, Animal Village, goodness gracious. I can't wait to see where this game takes us. Um, but y'all let me know. I mean, if, if you absolutely have to see more... Well, if, if your name is Seymour, then that's pretty sweet. That's a cool name. But if you absolutely have to see more, maybe I can bring it your way. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I got another shell, baby. We're gonna get out of here. Secret seashell. I'll leave it for now. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Until next time, everybody, drink so much. All thanks again. I love you, and we'll see you all later.